Hey guys, welcome back to Love the Bunny. And in this week, we are going to be talking about the European rabbit and domestic rabbits. Those of us that live in that live here in North America probably have heard of the cottontail rabbit. I'll put a picture up here. And you probably think that that is the closest descendant to domesticated rabbits. And that is ex not exactly true. They are in the same, cottontails and domestic rabbits are in the same family, but they are not in the same species. This, in the same species and the direct descendants from our domesticated rabbits are the European rabbits. And those are the rabbits I'm going to be talking about today. Now, first of all, I'm just going to be going into kind of some of the backstory of the history of European rabbits and how they got domesticated into our pet bunnies. And this is really quite interesting because I feel like there wasn't much information out there about this topic. So I really had to dig for this information, but I found some pretty reliable sources. And I hope this is going to help y'all just to kind of know where your rabbits came from, where some of the behaviors came from. It wasn't very researched or anything, so I did have to dig really deep to find these sources, but I'm really happy I spent the time to do this because I was super amazed by what all I learned myself, and I hope you guys are going to like this, so let's just get into it. So rabbits were first domesticated 1,400 years ago by monks that first used them for meat. So they put them in cages and saved them for the winter time to use for meat. And this is the beginning of rabbits being kept. Going forward into the Victorian ages, rabbits started being kept as um, pets and hobbies for like show stock and people found out you can use rabbits such as angora rabbits for their hair and people just really started to discover a lot more about them and people just in general kept them for pets. It also a little bit later started becoming popular as children's pets and things like that. In the last 30 years, rabbit care has come really, really far. Before that, you know, it was just kind of keep them outside, hope, no, hope nothing gets them. But recently, it's really started to get, like, better. So, yeah. Kind of a little backstory of how rabbits got domesticated. I know it wasn't very in-depth, but this is just a brief recapping of some information I found and kind of how and what time periods and different things like that. So if you like history, it would be very interesting to research this. I do like history, so it was quite interesting to research all of it, and I had super fun with that. We're gonna be talking about some similarities. So the first similarity I found was that European rabbits live around nine years, and pet rabbits domesticated and kept in good conditions will live 10 to 14 years. And so that is pretty close in Lifespan, for example, a cottontail rabbit only lives around two to three years. So this is definitely a pretty similar fact of domesticated rabbits and European rabbits. Both in the family that's called Lagomorph or Lagomorpha, and it has 80, around 87 species in it. And most Lagomorphs are, I'm pretty sure most Lagomorphs are herbivores, but both European rabbits and domesticated rabbits are herbivores too. So that's just a little fact to know they are herbivores. And the next similarity is their gestation period. So the gestation period for European rabbits is 28 to 35 days and the period for, um, for domesticated rabbits is 28 to 31 days. So that is pretty similar too and yeah. So now I'm going to be giving you all some information on the European rabbit. So the European rabbit is native to Southwest Europe and Northwest Africa. And their population is decreasing. They're not quite yet endangered, but it is decreasing um, due to lack of vegetation. And another thing about them, they have been introduced to every landmass except Antarctica due to unfavorable temperatures. They have also negatively affected the area of agriculture because they eat a lot of vegetation because they're herbivores and the most affected area of this is Australia due to lack of predators. 
that's just a little bit of information I put together for you guys. I hope this helped you just learn a few new facts. I know I learned a ton of new facts that I didn't know before. And it was so fun to film this video. I just love history stuff. And this was just super interesting. So I hope it interested y'all. And I hope everyone liked it. And I hope this will just help you in general to research. Thank you for watching Love the Bunny. Don't forget to like and subscribe down below if you would like to see more rabbit care and informational videos. And don't forget to hop a comment down below and tell me what you thought of this video. Maybe ask questions, whatever you want. Just tell me how you're feeling about the video or questions or anything like that. You can just go down to the comment box and comment down below. We'll be seeing you in our next video. Keep on loving the bunnies. Bye.